Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Saturday, September the 2nd, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We are reading from the Revised Common Lectionary, Year A, the selections for today, which is the Saturday before Proper 17 in the season after Pentecost. There are three readings for today, a psalm and a first reading from the Old Testament and a second reading from the New Testament. I will begin with Psalm 26, verses 1 to 8 of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind, for your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in your faithfulness. I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling of all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Our first reading from the Old Testament comes to us from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 15, verses 10 to 14. The prophet writes, Woe is me, my mother, that you bore me a man of strife and a contention to the whole land. I have not lent nor have I borrowed, yet all of them curse me. The Lord said, Have I not set you free for their good? Have I not pleaded for you before the enemy in the time of trouble and in the time of distress? Can one break iron, iron from the north and bronze? Your wealth and your treasures I will give as spoil without price for all your sins throughout all your territory. I will make you serve your enemies in a land that you do not know. For in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. Our second reading comes from the New Testament and it comes from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 8 verses 14 to 17. Matthew writes, And when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she rose and began to serve him. That evening they brought to him many who were oppressed by demons, and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our illnesses and bore our diseases. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. We praise you for the generous provision of it to us and ask that through the power of your spirit you would grant that it be written in our minds, hearts, and souls where it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Dear friends, again, I encourage you and I commend you for having taken just a few minutes out of your day to hear God's word. And I have placed the references for the passages I read and the references for the option two passages in the description of this video so that you can refer to them and read them again for yourself, which I pray you will do. Until we can be together tomorrow, so I can read to you the selections for that day, I pray you will go in the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.